number of the day, number of the day, which number will it be, number of the day, and we finally made it, it's the number 20. But which one of these is the number 20? Now do you remember if you've seen the number of the day um, videos before that um, we've talked about what the digits in, in these numbers mean? So this one here means that there are, this is the tens and these are the ones here next to it. But there aren't any ones, but there are two tens. So can you see which, um, which of the number shapes has two tens? Can you find it? Well done if you found this one already. Super. That's two tens. And they're on top of each other, which is why it looks like one long number shape. OK, let's make the uh, number shapes disappear and let's find out what is the same as 20. <gasps> there it is. 20 fingers. Or maybe you could, if you've got um, someone with you, you can borrow their fingers. Or maybe you have to use your toes. Two tens is 20. There we go again. There's a 20 mile an hour sign you might have seen, or a 20 pound note. And that's how you write the word 20. So remember, double 10 is 20. Two tens, double 10 is 20. But what number is fewer than 20? You could think of all the number of the days that we've seen so far. They're all fewer. Think of what numbers you say before you get to 20. I chose the number... <gasps> Oh, how many sweets are there? Just one. I chose the number one. What about more? What number is more than 20? You could pick a really big number, but remember we like to try and choose numbers that we can write down so we know what they look like. So I chose the number 50. That's a 50 miles an hour sign you see when you're driving. OK, let's think of one less and one more then. So we've popped 20 in the middle and there's our number track. Oh, now, can you find 20? It's on the end of a number track somewhere. Can you see which end? Yes, there it is. Can you do a one jump down the number track? And one less than 20 is 19. But what comes one more than 20? If we're on 20 and we have another one, that means we'll get to 21. Wow. OK, on our 10 frame, let's take a look. How many is that? That's four. We don't need to count it. We can know just by looking because one more would make five. We know that a line of our 10 frame is five. So there's five. And we can say five and a bit to help us remember what that is. That's six. Or we could say five and a bit and we might remember that one is seven. Do we need to count this one? No, because we know that one more would be uh, 10 frame would be full and that would be 10. So we know that we've got nine and there is our 10 frame full. 10 and a bit, 11, 10 and a bit, 12. 13, 14, 15. Wow, look, those three lines of five. 16, 17, 18, 19, and one more makes 20. And there we go. And do you remember we at the beginning we said that um, 20 is two tens, and there are our two ten frames full. Well done. Let's have a look at the part part whole model. And remember that we put the whole, our number of the day, the whole of the number, all of it, in the top. Wow, look, they're all in there now. 20. Now, do you remember that we always use one of our parts as 10? And you could have a go at home, draw your own part whole model, and then use some counters or use something, uh, maybe bits of Lego, to uh, to move them around put 20 in the top and you can choose what numbers go as your parts but we always have 10 as a part 
for our um, number of the day videos. But if 10 is one of the parts, what's in the other part? What makes 20? 10 and another 10. Well done. So 10 add 10 is 20 or 20 take away 10 equals 10. Wow, 20 is a good number to use for your part whole model. Have fun with your numbers. Bye.